Hi, Dominica here from easysewingforbeginners.com. In this video today, I have a quick sewing room tip for you to help you keep all those bobbins and spools of thread organized. So, what you'll need for this quick tip is some pipe cleaners or um, chenille sticks. So if you've got children in the house, more than likely you'll have some of these or you can find them in your local craft shop or um, online on eBay very easily and you'll also need some um, plastic tubing here which I got from the hardware store and the, you just need to make sure that the diameter is about the same as your bobbin so I just took a bobbin along to the hardware store just to make sure I was getting the right one okay so what I do with these is I use one of these pipe cleaners to hold my bobbin and my thread together and I actually use a little piece of this piping so my husband very kindly cut these little pieces up for me he ended up using the garden secateurs but um, if you've got a strong pair of scissors it'll probably do the job as well so I've got my matching bobbin and my matching thread and what I like to do Put the pipe cleaner through the spool of thread and then on the bobbin here just to stop the bobbin from unraveling I just like to use this little piece of tubing that's cut and pop it over the top of the bobbin there and this will stop your thread from unraveling while your bobbin's in storage because I usually end up with a big mess in my bobbins so since I've been doing this it's actually been quite good and I've um, found it really easy to match up my thread and my bobbin as well. So just pop your bobbin on top there and then quite simply all you do is fold your pipe cleaner over and there you go. You've got an easy cheap solution for storing your matching bobbin and thread. Okay so I've done these I've done that with all of my bobbin and threads now and just saves a big mess and I just keep them in a little drawer in my sewing room. So there you have it. Um, if you've got a quick um, sewing room tip, then I'd love to hear from you. So you can leave it in the comments below. If you try this tip out and you find it useful as well, I'd love to hear from you. If you have a different way of storing your bobbins and thread, I'd also like to hear that as well. So thanks for watching. Um, like this video and share it with others if you think they'll find it useful as well. Bye for now.